Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a pen test and marker test in my, I keep forgetting the name of this, bullet journal, uh, Park Lane bullet journal. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody, welcome, please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I am opening up right now one of the Christmas gifts I got from my daughter. Um, she knows how I like pens, markers, all kind of planning related items. Sorry for the noise. And yeah, so I figured since I'm setting up this bullet journal and I like to do pen tests. Ooh, sorry. I like to do pen tests so that I can see, you know, how well these will work. So this is a marker. Um, what are they calling it? I'm going to have to put it up like this. Um, smooth hues, hues, markers, vibrant and washable colors. It's by Uli. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I did that when I was doing the video too. O O L Y, and it is it's a very 3.5 mm nib. I've never seen one of those. So she found it at TJ Maxx. It was probably $7.99 or whatever. I don't know. But that is the UPC. And again, these are the sleek colors. So I'm not going to say the color of it because obviously I don't know like what color they're giving unless it's on here. So I'm just going to like do a test. Ooh. I get the hiccups at the wrong time. And this is the Park Lane journal. Oh, my. Ugh. just felt weird. Okay, so we're going to start off with, it's obviously like black, brown, purple, blue. So maybe that's what I'll just do. I don't know if it's dual tip. There's like a weird thing here. No, it's, oh my gosh. I thought it would be smaller, but it's obviously not. So the cap literally does not fit this little spot right here. So that's a little disappointing. Um, what I'm going to do is write in the word O-O-L-Y marker test because, uh, hold on my cat. Diva, stay in or out. I can hear you crying. Okay, sorry about that. You know how it is. She's always constantly crying. So we're going to say O-O-L-Y marker test. And it is 3.5 mm. I don't think I've ever seen something 3.5 mm in a marker. So right off the bat, let me close this marker up real quick. It says O O L Y, so Oli, Oli, and it has like where you can like grip it. So I don't know if you see like this little triangle with a point, and you can feel it. So let's do a little black. So it looks like it would be good for bullet journaling. Um, let's see the back of it. It has a little bit of a... Okay, so right away I could see... Not too bad because this is dark color. But you could see a little bit of how heavy I, you know, did that. So you could see a little bit of the color. So because this is the back page... And I don't like how this is. It's okay to do the pen test. Normally, I would not do, or the marker test, I would not do it on here like that. So that is brown. I'm 
I'm not even showing you the colors. I do apologize. Okay, so again, let me show. Oh, wow. That one was a rough one. But that's how thick it is. We're going to do purple. Don't mind my writing. I have terrible writing. Like, terrible. So we're just going to say blue. Once we get done with this, I will tell you which ones are like more of the bleed through or how I feel about these. So I'm going to say lighter blue because I don't really know the color. And again, they are not saying in here what the color is. I wish they would, only for the reason of... Let's take out both greens. So this is a brighter green, I mean a regular green, so I'm just going to put green. I do like the markers, I'm not going to lie. I do like them. I just wish it was like a dual tip. And then we'll put light green. That way, you know, I could use a, like a pen or... Because they do have very good colors. Like, for that light green to show up that, you know, good. I do like that. So, I like to take these out. What was next? Oh my god, I don't remember if it was the yellow or the orange. I'm just going to say yellow and orange. Yeah, it was. Okay. So on the package, it shows which colors go where. Which is good. Okay, so the yellow off the bat is not good. I do not like the yellow. And because it's just, maybe it's a highlighter. I don't know. And then this is orange. Orange, I do like. Oh, I like the orange. Just to write with the orange, I like the orange. I'm assuming this is red. As you can see, my writing is crappy. And then pink and then light pink. So this is the pink. How terrible is this writing? Light pink, I'm not very a fan, good fan of. I'm not a good, really a good fan. I'm not a fan of the light pink. Okay, so here is the color that is in order with the color that's in order here. So that's exactly what I did here. So let's see what the issue would be if there is one. Or were they good? So off the bat, I could tell you I like it automatically. The paper quality, I don't know if you could hear it, is not a very good quality. It's not a bad quality, but it's not like heavy duty paper. So the only thing is like the black probably bled through. But like all the other ones, it's just the shadow. So I do like that. And then I did a, obviously a pen test with this tool, um, right there, T-U-L. It's the gold and black one. And this one here is just, I don't even think it says. So that's exactly what I'm going to write here. That's what I wrote up on top. So I'm just going to say tool. Pen. and then I'm just going to give it that little squishy and then just write black so you can see that and I think it's pretty good I have no complaints it is a little shadowing but I don't see blue through, bleed through it does leave like an imprint because I write hard but other than that, I like it. So this will be my pen test, marker test. Um, yeah, so if you like.
Sorry, I don't know where I left off. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching. And leave a comment below. Have you used these pens? Or markers, I should say. And they are the OO. Where's it at? O O L Y. You know, for this the four letter word is hard to say. And it is the Smooth Hules set of 12 markers. It is the 3.5 mm nib. So it's actually showing you in the description here the nib. So it's showing you the thickness of the pen. See if we can grab one out. So it is showing you the actual size of this marker. Is the actual size of this illustration. And this pen, I mean marker, is this one here. It says unique, sleek shape, easy to hold, inspires to create. And that's exactly what it is. It's an easy, sleek, hold your hand and you have that little bump. Either way you have it. You have that bump. And then it's just the same thing on top. This is just, I guess, a cute design. So if you like it again, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know in the comments below. Have you used it? Have you used the Parkling um, Bullet Journal Kit? I actually like this kit a lot. It is really nice. I'm just putting this back. So yeah, so it is um, a good good marker. It doesn't really bleed through. I mean, it does show you shadows, but it does not bleed through, and I just lost two of them. So again, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. i got to go pick up some markers. Bye-bye.